We continue our 24 and 24 series with the New Jersey Titans of the East Division. They finished as the number two seed entering the postseason, but fell in the first round of the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Knights in five games. The NHL's record-setting commitment numbers were helped by the Titans, committing 16 of their players, nine of those to Division I schools. Well, I think it speaks volumes about the North American League and what separates us from the rest. Uh, the investment by the ownership group to, to not only make the players better, but also the coaches and the league, I think it stands out and, and truly brings us true. So really proud to be here, happy the inter uh, interaction and networking was second to none. And I think the rest of the hockey world realizes how serious we are about our hockey. In order to reload for the 2018-19 season, the draft and camp process can be summed up in one word for New Jersey. It's huge. I mean, the draft process for us, we've had a lot of success in New Jersey since I've been there. Um, if you look back on our draft picks, a lot of them do end up making our team. And then in the, the both pre-draft and main camp process, um, we take players from there. We drafted a player this year high in the draft who came to our pre-draft camp. Credit to our scouts in identifying these players and getting them to our camp and in front of the coaches because we don't get to go out as much during the year as we'd like to because um, we're so busy, but at the camps, we're locked in, and it's a captive audience for us, and we're able to identify the players. And Like I said, this year, draft them right out of a pre-draft camp. While there's plenty of success for the Titans off the ice, they think it's their time to ascend to the top of the East Division. It's not about what players are going to be on the team. It's what type of players are we looking for, and we need players who are going to be extremely competitive, hard to play against, mature, um, and willing to be able to do it shift in, shift out, night in, night out. If you look back at, in our division, um, the Rebels have done really well. wilkes Bar came out on top last year. And as a coach, I can't sit here and, and ignore the facts of what they've done. Those kids have played really hard. They've been hard to play against, so rose to the occasion at the playoffs. But nevertheless, for us, we haven't achieved that yet, and we have to get there. So more importantly than the specific player name is the specific player type that we need to be successful moving forward. New Jersey begins their season against the Maryland Black Bears on September 14th.